And so the time has come to try these bad boys on. Hey uh, peeps, my name is Ilan. Welcome to the vlog. The first hike of the year has come around. I decided to join the memorial for one of the renowned mountaineers in this area. And that required Sharpie things that go on the bottom of the boots. I think they're called crampons, like little metal things that just tap on here and they get stuck in the ice that's on top of the frozen mountain. And for that, I needed to get new shoes because they have to have this little thing on it. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm trying try them on. They're a little bit too big for me, but you know, with the winter socks on and everything, it, it, it'll make sense. They're firmer, they're more sturdy, they're more waterproof, all of that good stuff. So let's go. So we met up with everyone at the bottom of the mountain. Obviously there were lots of people coming from around the country with vans who've been traveling for a lot of the night or a lot of the morning. At eight o'clock, we're already there at the bottom, waiting, lining up, ready to go. The first part of the hike is pretty easy. It is not steep at all. It's just a stroll through the forest. It was pretty cloudy. People were expecting bad weather, so everyone loaded up with like extra jackets and hats and goggles in case. Because this mountain, Bielash, it kind of translates as the White Mountain. It is known for really setting climate changes and a lot of snow and wind on the top especially during the winter season so you really have to be ready and as soon as we got to the saddle like this little straight part between the first little hike and then the steep hike that comes next all of a sudden the clouds cleared up and it was just like a sunny day a really sunny warm day for the rest of the hike i don't remember having a nicer day in february ever so everyone's like taking off their jackets and their sweaters. Eventually we were just in our in our t-shirts at the top because it was so warm, especially with the snow bouncing off the snow, giving even more light and heat. So we started hiking up single file, obviously for safety reasons. This side of the mountain is also known to have small avalanches. So you have to be really careful with the weight distribution in a group to make sure you don't start an avalanche going downhill and then bury someone and blah, 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 exciting stuff. Obviously, when we were getting closer to the top, even though it was getting warmer on one hand, on the other hand, it was getting colder. The air was colder, but the sun was warmer. It's hard to explain. The surface was frozen. That's when I put my crampons um, to walk around in them. People started dispersing more as it was getting less steep nearer to the peak. So they were just walking around, taking pictures, having a good time. And I have to say, walking in crampons is a little bit different. It's like... You have to kind of walk like an Indian, spread your feet apart to make sure there's distance so you don't catch your pants or your boot with your other crampon and like potentially ruin it or destroy it or even injure yourself in a small way. Um, but other than that, it wasn't, I was expecting it to be more difficult, challenging, you know, having to think about how you position your foot and things like that. But I guess after several years of experience in the mountain, you already have that built into your muscle memory. So it's a lot easier. Then we got to the spot where that mountaineer passed away trying to save somebody else. Gave him the ring of flowers in his memory, in his honor. Some people who could go further, who had crampons, also went to this little memorial hut that's there for him. And that pretty much completed um, the memorial hike. There were some people, some friends of mine, who went turno skiing with us, as in those skis that only slip in one direction and you can go uphill with them without any problem. They continued on the hike while everyone else went back. I don't have tour skis yet. I hope to one day um, have them and that, that would be really fun hiking in skis. Something I'm still looking forward to on my bucket list. So that's a little story of my first 2020 hike, getting warmed up for all the tours ahead this year. It's going to be a very adventurous year for me. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tell me what kind of stories you like, what kind of format of stories that you like, the way that they are told. Give me a little thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next week potentially or, or or the week after doesn't doesn't really go anymore i need to stop saying that cheers